The challenge is, is that we're working at the level of the conscious mind and to change the subconscious mind, to change that subliminal tape that's playing over and over again, there's more than one. And a lot of times one is playing into the other. So it becomes a bit of a rat's nest in the subconscious mind. When we can change at that level, then the shift is, can be instant and it is sustainable. When we're trying to change on a conscious, at the conscious mind level, when we're aware of the thoughts and we're going to change those thoughts and we're going to, we're going to talk to ourselves and, and repeat the same affirmation over and over again, it takes a long time to shift and change the subconscious programming. Because it didn't just come in and, and embed there overnight. Some of it did. But most of it, those deep-rooted ones, like I'm not good enough, I don't deserve, nothing is ever enough, whatever it is that you believe about yourself, I'm un unlovable, abundance is, is not my birthright, I don't deserve money. Whatever it is that's playing in the subconscious mind tape, it takes time to unwind it because it took time to really embed it deeply in that rooted subconscious mind. So I'm just telling you all this because I want you to understand and stop beating yourself up and stop judging yourself for someone saying, hey, just use this tool and you'll have money flowing to you easily. It's not that simple. And there's not one recipe that works for every single person. So if you've tried other things in the past and they didn't work for you, it's okay. It's not that there's something wrong with you. It's not that there's fundamentally something wrong with you, although the ego would love for you to believe that. It just means that that particular tool didn't get to the root of the block for you. So the good news is there are tools that are going to help you kind of clear some of the layers so that you can get deeper into the, the deeper seated ones, those deeper seated blind spots, those more cleverly hidden ones. And when you start to really unravel those pieces, that's where you see the instant healing, those holy shifts where your life has changed forever. Those patterns have cleared and, and they're gone. So when I use the ego game of opposites, this is one of the tools and it, it's not going to work for every single person because sometimes there's going to be a block in the mind to even accept or try the tool. The ego game of opposites is a, is a tool that actually creates confusion in the, at the level of the conscious mind because it's, it's breaking up and reprogramming the subconscious and it doesn't make sense at that level. What we have in our subconscious mind doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to people. So it causes confusion. When it causes confusion, people stop and, and they don't use the tool. And that's, what, that's exactly what your ego wants. Your ego wants you to quit before the miracle. Your ego wants you to not to understand this, this idea, this concept. So in some ways, when I teach... I'm creating an understanding at the level of the conscious mind and I'm reprogramming at the level of the subconscious mind. Sometimes it creates a level of confusion at the conscious level of the mind. And that's purposeful because as long as you think you know, your mind is closed. So often when I'm working with people one-on-one -on -one or in our community, I will there will be a creation of some form of confusion. I don't get it. I'm confused. Good. Stay there in that confusion. Accept the confusion. It's totally okay. Let's keep going. So keep going. Don't quit before the miracle. Don't think that confusion is, oh, I don't get it. I can't do it. I'm not going to continue. Confusion is actually just a stage of, unwinding a level of a deeper level of understanding 